hey, forget about my boring little sister. She's just a nerd. Why don't you go out with me instead? I think we'll have a fun time together. Uh, d yeah, sh sure, I guess. Not again. My name is Rico Honda. I'm 26 years old, and I work in an office. I didn't want to have to show you my sister stealing my boyfriend, but I felt like I needed to in order to prove to you what she's capable of. It's a scene I've come across far too often, and I really am sick of it. The woman that was seducing my boyfriend is my older sister, Akko. She's two years older than I am, and she's a really pretty woman. During high school, and even at college, she was super popular, and she had conquered most of the boys on campus by the time she had graduated. And surprise, surprise, she was never without a boyfriend. On the other hand, I was a little bit of a nerd, and I loved anime. It's not like I'm so absorbed that I have no interest in real life or real people, and I've had my own share of boyfriends. I have no idea why, but my sister would always steal them from me by seducing them with her pretty eyes and full lips. So I had started to distrust men and couldn't bring myself to date another guy. Instead, I started focusing all of my passion and money on the handsome guys I liked in my favorite animes and movies. I went a long time without a boyfriend, but that ended when I met the man of my dreams at a theme cafe that was collaborating with my all-time favorite anime, Mani Robohiro. He really did appear as though he was my knight in shining armor. Wow, it's amazing. It's much better than I imagined it would be. It's like I've walked into the world of Mani Robo Hero, but I've ordered over 10 drinks and I still haven't gotten my favorite character's coaster. I can't leave without it, but I can't drink anymore. My favorite character was the protagonist's best friend, Zat. He was his right-hand man and they were a great team, but he suddenly turns to the dark side near the end of the story. And in the current and final arc, he and the protagonist are battling it out in a super awesome plot twist. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I consider myself a being of the darkness too, so there are a lot of things about Zat that appeal to me. But I can't even get one coaster of Zat. This is so depressing. I was about to give up and call it a day when a hero appeared in front of me and saved me from absolute devastation. Um, excuse me, I was wondering if you'd be willing to swap coasters with me. Huh? Uh, what? You're talking to me? Yeah, I couldn't help but notice that you've already collected a lot of coasters, and I thought that you might have the character I'm looking for. My favorite character is Miko, but I haven't been lucky at all. Miko was a protagonist pet cat, and was also the anime's mascot character. He's super cute, and always ranks among the top three in character popularity polls. Miko? I have like three coasters of him. Go ahead and take them. Really? Then you can take whichever one that you want from the coasters I have. I hope you find what you're searching for. Oh my god. You do? You have Zat? I finally got Zat. So, you like Zat? I totally understand. Then I guess we've come to an agreement. Here you go. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Thank you, handsome stranger. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be alive. You don't know how much this means to me. I can't even look at another cup of coffee. I'm so full. I was going to give up and go home. <laughs> Me too. I'm glad that we're both able to find our favorite characters. It's a good thing I plucked out the courage to talk to you. Just like that, I met someone that was just as passionate as I was about Mani Robo Hero, and we began talking heatedly about our favorite scenes and lines from the anime. Before I knew it, we were exchanging numbers, following each other in social media, and we're talking almost every day. His name was Shu Nishikata, and we were the same age. It didn't take long for us to become very close, and just a few months later, we started dating. But when I first started going out, I told him about how my sister had reacted to all my boyfriends in the past, and how I had been traumatized by the way they had all dumped me for her. But Shu's reaction shocked me. You're kidding! She stole your boyfriends? She's a horrible sister! Do you really think that I would fall for her tricks? And in the first place, I hate people for looking down on anime fans. And they think that being a nerd is something to be ashamed about. I can't even think about being friends with her. Yeah, but look at this. She's beautiful, isn't she? Uh, no, I don't think so. To me, you're the cutest girl in the whole world. You're a hundred times cuter. What? Oh, stop it. You're just flattering me. Anyways, I'm not interested in anyone but you. The only woman I'm looking at is you, so why do you think we're dating? I wouldn't have asked you to go out with me if I was just going to leave you for some other woman. I want you to believe me. I promise that I'll do my best to make sure that you are the happiest woman in the world. So forget about your exes and just focus on me. He didn't hold back when he confessed to me, and I couldn't help but swoon. 
I never expected that I would be told something so romantic by someone so handsome, not even in my wildest dreams. But I could understand what he was saying. It's not like I had fallen in love with Shu's appearance either, so I was really happy that he had fallen for my personality too. And then, one year after we started dating, Shu proposed to me with the perfect engagement ring, and I replied to him with a yes. We were engaged. We decided to visit my parents to give them the big news, but a storm was waiting for us. Oh, Riku, you're finally home. What? Akko, what are you doing here? You're just as plain as always, Riku. You turned 26, and you're still not using any makeup? You should start learning how to use foundation, at least. But I guess it won't make anything better. <laughs> uh, she pisses me off so much. The last time I'd seen my older sister was New Year's. It had been months, and I wasn't exactly happy to see her. Mostly because I hadn't told her that I had a boyfriend. I was too scared that she might steal him from me, despite what she had said. She was probably here at my parents' house because they had told her that I was coming home with my fiancé. They're great parents, but they don't seem to understand the issues that I have with Eiko and tend to mention things that I don't want her to know. Anyway, who's the weirdo that's willing to marry someone plain, boring, and dirty like you? Where is he? He'll be here once he's parked the car. Where are mom and dad? Aren't they home? They've both gone out shopping. Rico, I parked the car. Uh, huh? Oh, is this the uh, sister you talked to me about? Uh, yeah. This is my older sister, Akko. Oh. It's nice to meet you. I'm Rico's boyfriend, Sho Nishitaka. Oh, wait, I guess I'm her fiance now, huh? Right, Rico? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. He's so hot. I can't believe it. He's so my type. Crap. I knew that this would happen. She's never going to change. But can I blame her? Shu is so handsome. He's the best looking guy I've ever gone out with. He's so good looking that even I know that he's out of my league. If he told me that he was working as a model or that he was an actor, I would have believed him. That's why I wanted to get married without him ever meeting Akko. But it's too late. Uh, thanks, I guess. Why do you want to marry someone as ugly as Rico? It's such a waste. You're too good looking for her. Well, I've been begging her to marry me for a long time, and she finally said yes when I proposed to her the other week. It's made me the happiest man alive. What? Don't be silly. And I said yes the first time around. I'm not joking. I seriously couldn't fall asleep the night that I popped the question because I was so excited for us to get married. <laughs> Stop it. Don't talk about something so embarrassing in front of my sister. You're making me blush. Yeah, but I'm so much prettier than Riku. Oh. You're finally here. Why are you all standing around in the hallway? Go on in. Mrs. Honda, I'm so happy to meet you. My name is Shou Nishitaka. I've had the honor of dating your daughter this past year. Uh, let me help you with that. It looks pretty heavy. Oh my. What a charming gentleman. Rico, you're so lucky to have such a wonderful fiancé. <laughs> yeah. With the arrival of our mom, my sister went quiet and stopped trying to flirt with Shu. She may not look like it, but my sister is pretty smart so she doesn't say anything to me when our parents are around. Once, when we were still in middle school, Eiko slapped me when we were having a fight, and she got shouted at by Dad for hours. He even told her to get out, and that ended up leaving a deep impression on her. She knows just how scary Mom and Dad can be when they're mad, so she's always made her move when they're not looking. Shu introduced himself to my dad, too, and we began preparing for dinner. But the only thing my sister could see was Shu, and her eyes had literally turned into hearts. Shu, do you need another beer? I can pour you some more if you want. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'd love some. Uh, Mr. Honda, your glass is empty. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't notice. Here, let me pour you another beer. You're too kind, Shu. I thought that you were just handsome, but you're considerate too. Can I ask you what you're doing for work? I'm actually working as a doctor. I can assure you that if she wants, Rico can resign, and I'll support her with my income if she decides to become a housewife. <laughs> Seriously? He must be rich. You're good looking, you got a high income, and you're reliable? Oh man, Rico, you've really met the perfect man. <laughs> yeah, he's really wasted on me. I know, right? So why did you choose to propose to someone like her? Why? I don't really understand what you're asking. To be honest, it was love at first sight. I knew I wanted to be with her from the start. What? what? Rico, why are you surprised too? Because he's never told me that before. 
We actually met at a Monty Robo hero themed cafe, and I was just sitting a few tables away from her, but I saw her ordering some drinks. She was doing her best to drink all of them. Every time the waiter brought her a new coaster, she looked so excited, and then disappointed when I wasn't the character she wanted. I couldn't help but think that she was so cute. Before I knew it, I asked her if she could exchange coasters with me, and I just wanted to keep on talking with her forever. The more I got to know her, the more I realized that she was the one for me. She was a wonderful person, and I knew I loved her for it. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. Seriously? Why didn't you tell me that sooner? That's so romantic. I really can't wait for your wedding. I'll bet it be so beautiful, right, honey? <laughs> Rico's so lucky to be engaged to such a great guy. I'm so happy my little girl's gonna get married. I could tell that she was being over the top and gushing about me on purpose so that he could ward Aiko off and show how in love we were. But I was honestly really happy to hear how he felt about me and to hear all those stories about when we first met. My parents gave us their blessing to get married and I had a wonderful night. But I knew that my sister wouldn't give up so easily. But you should know, my little sister's never had a relationship that lasted longer than a month. All of her boyfriends dumped her before they could get serious. Whose fault do you think that is? Yeah, I've heard. I think that I was lucky. Huh? I mean, if Rico had gotten serious with someone else and had gotten engaged before I could meet her, I think that I would have just ended up spending the rest of my life alone. There's no way. You would have found someone anyway. You're too handsome for the girls to leave you alone. Yeah, she's right. Ugh. It's so unfair. Why didn't I meet you before Rico did? I suit him so much better than Rico does. We'd make the perfect couple. Echo, what are you saying? You're drinking too much. Get a hold of yourself. I'm really sorry about our eldest show. I think she's getting a little drunk. I'm not drunk, Mom. Ugh. Hey, show, why don't you leave Rico and marry me? I'm so much prettier, and we could have beautiful kids together. The only woman that deserves a man as handsome as you is a pretty woman like me. We could probably start uploading videos of our life together. What do you think? We'd be the model family. Even my parents were shocked when they heard what Aiko said. Aiko asserted that she wasn't drunk, but it was clear that she had had too many beers. Plus, she had probably gotten really worked up over having met someone that was exactly her type, handsome and rich, and wasn't able to keep her feelings under control. However, Chu dropped a bombshell on the situation. Um, I'm really sorry, but you say that you're beautiful and everything, but you've had plastic surgery done, haven't you? What? Uh, huh? What are you talking about? No, oh, I'm really sorry. I, I thought everyone knew. Since your family, I think I mentioned that I'm a doctor, but I'm actually a plastic surgeon, and Akko is a regular at my clinic. She's a regular? What? Your clinic? What the hell are you saying? I've never had plastic surgery done before. I was surprised too when I saw your photograph. Because of my profession, I could tell that you had surgery already. To be honest, it's pretty obvious to plastic surgeons since we take a look at these faces every single day. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, I'm not saying that plastic surgery is wrong. If anything, I'm glad that someone was able to help you find more confidence in your new self by getting surgery done, and I hope that you can enjoy your life after being under the needle. However, you're using your beauty as a weapon to hurt Rico. You've been stealing her boyfriends and seducing them so that they would leave her. Isn't that right? Akko. Uh, what? Uh, Akko, what's she talking about? I mean exactly what I said. The only thing that bothers me is that minors need their parents to consent to get plastic surgery done, and that they need to be with them when they come to the clinic. Seems that Akko hasn't told you, so she was probably just using transformation makeup when she was in school, until she was old enough to get the surgery done without your permission. Transformation makeup? What do you mean? I mean using makeup in a way to make her look like a completely different person. She must have transformed herself using her makeup skills. You can find plenty of videos and articles on the internet to advise you on how to do it, and Akko looks like she's pretty much mastered the art of using makeup to change her face. So that's why I'm sure that she must have just started getting surgeries done after she became an adult. Didn't any of you realize that her face had changed? I mean, she doesn't look like either your mom or your dad, so she's probably changed a lot. Uh, well, uh, no. I just thought that she was putting on a lot of makeup, and I knew she was pretty good at it. I thought she was doing an amazing job since her usual face isn't that different from mine. Yeah, I just thought that her makeup was getting thicker every time we met. I didn't think that it was because of surgery. 
Well, I guess Akko must be pretty smart. She probably spent the recovery time after her surgery hiding away so that nobody would notice her puffiness or bruises. That way people would realize that her beauty was from her surgery and not from birth. I think that it's proof of how determined she was, and I really do commend her strength, but I can't forgive that she was using that as a way to hurt her own little sister. That is unforgivable, no matter how hard she worked for her own beauty. When he said that, the entire living room went silent, and nobody said a word. But in that silence, my mom and dad showed how furious they were by glaring at Eiko. For a moment, I felt like I could see the flames growing behind them. Sho, Rico, congratulations on your engagement. You have our blessing to get married, but I'd also like to ask you to give us some privacy today. We've got a lot to talk about with Akko, and uh, we can't let her get away with this any longer. Your dad's right, Rico. I'm sorry to drive you all like this, but it's important that we deal with Eiko right away. Yeah, sure. Before we leave, can I ask you what Akko's profession is? I think she's still working as a temp. She's worked a lot of jobs over the years. This is just my guess, but considering all the procedures she's undergone, I'd say she's already spent over $20,000 on surgery. 20000 Yeah, you mentioned that she used to look like you, right? In that case, she changed almost everything. Her eyelids, chin, jawline, her nose is much higher than yours too. And the cheekbones, once you touch up the bones, the price goes up pretty rapidly. Eiko, where did you get all the money to do all that? My sister went silent, and she didn't try and explain anything. It was clear she had nothing to say to us, so Shu and I left my parents' house. I'm really sorry we kicked you out while we were celebrating, Riku. And I'm sorry that we didn't realize what Eiko had been doing all this time. It's all right. I didn't say anything, so there was no way for you to know. Anyway, is Dad doing okay? He hasn't popped the vein, has he? He was so red in the face when we left. He's absolutely furious. It's the first time I've seen him so angry in decades. <laughs> Apparently, your sister was getting those surgeries done on borrowed money. She's in a lot of debt. What? It sounds like she got addicted to it. She was enjoying herself getting prettier and prettier and didn't know when to stop. It started with just getting a nose job, and then she found the next thing that was bothering her and couldn't help but go back for more. Wow. And we found out why she started seducing your boyfriends, too. How am I supposed to put this? Maybe I should let her speak for herself. Listen to this. Uh, yeah. Okay. I told you a hundred times. I just wanted to be prettier. I was just working on improving the way I looked. What's wrong with that? Then why did you have to start stealing your own little sister's boyfriends? What is wrong with you? Because they were all dating someone with my old face. If I talked to them and they chose me over Riku, it proved that I had gotten prettier. It made me feel more confident about my new face. And guess what? They all chose me over Riku. That's why I can be proud and say that I made the right decision to get surgery. You're an idiot, Akko. In what world does that make you right? What? What are you doing, stupid old fool? I really don't know what to say to that. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. Anyway, your dad says that he's not letting her in our house until she's paid back her debt. And he says that he won't forgive her if she tries to bother either of you as well. He's even shouting that he's going to make her sign a contract. You don't have to worry about her interfering with your life, Shu. Really? Thanks. We just want you and Shu to focus on your own happiness and plan for the wedding. Congratulations again. I'm so happy for you. And I'm looking forward to the ceremony. Thanks, Mom. Just like that, Dad had lectured her and Eiko was forced to reflect on her own actions. Chu had been listening to the phone call next to me and was shocked when he heard my dad shouting on the other end of the phone call. He went completely pale, muttering about how dad was so scary despite looking so gentle. And by the way, it turns out that my sister's total of debt amounted to $30,000, and it's probably going to be impossible for her to return that money by just working as a temp. I have no idea how she plans to pay back a fortune like that. In hindsight, she was probably attracted to Shu, not only for his looks, but also for his salary. I must have been thinking that she could use him to pay back her debt all in one go if they got married. But that's just my assumption. Eiko never said anything like that, so I can't know for sure. Ugh. Are you okay? You must really be tired. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. And I'm actually pretty grateful for what you said today. I'm relieved that the biggest obstacle I was worried about is out of the way. And I feel much better now that my parents know everything. Six months later. It's been half a year since Shu and I went to visit my parents, and we were able to get married and enjoy our honeymoon without any problems whatsoever. My sister was nowhere to be seen for the entire ceremony, and some of our relatives thought that it was strange that she wasn't attending. But my mom managed to make an explanation for Eiko not being there, 
and it went a lot smoother than I expected it would. Chu and I were able to start a new chapter in our lives as Mr. and Mrs. Nishikata and left the wedding venue smiling and waving. It really does feel good when Eiko's not around to ruin everything for me, and I feel like I've been relieved of a lot of stress ever since that day. But despite having not seen her in person for a long time, I've actually been talking to her online through messages and phone calls. The reason being, For today's episode, we'll be focusing on certain hostess that's gained overnight fame for her successful career. She's the woman that's making over 600000 every night. It's the one and only Eiko! Hiya! It's me, Eiko! Unbelievably, Eiko had managed to make a name for herself by debuting as a hostess, but it made a lot of sense. She was pretty, she had great communication skills, and she had the ambition. In a matter of weeks, she had made it to the top of the ranking board in the hostess club she was working at. On top of that, she made it public that she had undergone surgery and was often called by TV programs to talk about the truth behind plastic surgery and to give viewers tips on how to transform themselves using only makeup. She was getting calls every day to appear on TV and she's become a bit of a household name because of her frankness. She's even managed to pay back all the debt she made by undergoing all those surgeries and I can't help but say that I'm pretty impressed by what she's done for herself. I guess it's true that everyone has something that they were born to do. Hey, Rico, can you believe it? I was on TV again. I'm going to celebrate by buying Dom Perignon for my favorite host. I'm going to crush all of Ren's other fans. Ren? Oh, is he the host that you've been going to visit at the host club near your workplace? You've been spending a lot of money on him. Yeah, that's Ren. Of course I have. I've got to buy more than everyone else so he can focus on me. You're not spending too much, though, have you? You may be earning a lot, but spending money on a host is just going to get you back in debt again. You'll be back to square one. Don't worry about that. I'll be fine. I'm the best hostess in the world. Nobody can bring me down. Even though she's gotten over her addiction to plastic surgery, she's now committed to splurging on her host addiction. And to me, it just looks like she's jumped out of the pan and into the fire. She's always reporting to me how many bottles of Dom Perignon she was able to buy for Ren and sounds really happy. But I can't judge her. I can understand being passionate about something you love. I mean, I'm a nerd that loves anime. We're probably alike in the way we become obsessed and splash out on the things we love. We are sisters, after all. Rico, is something wrong? Oh, um, it's nothing serious. It's just that I got another report from my sister about spending more money on Ren. Apparently, she spent over $30,000 on him last night. <laughs> There's no stopping her, is there? Slowly but surely, she's gonna end up back in the same trouble she was in before. <laughs> You're so harsh on her, Shu. I still can't forgive her for hurting you just to make her feel better about herself. She's selfish and my impression of her won't change. But I love you because you're true to yourself and don't care about appearances. Shu. That's why I thought that it'd be a good thing that your sister gets punished for what she did. And I guess that it's also a good thing that your sister's living happily ever after thanks to the fuss that we made at your parents' house. I won't deny her that. Yeah, but it's a little funny that she's ended up back in a similar situation but on a whole other level. Rico, please don't ever change anything. I want you to stay the way you are. And if you're really dissatisfied with something and you want to change it using surgery, then I won't stop you, but you're perfect just the way you are. I'm not interested in getting surgery. I don't care about the way I look anymore. I'm just happy that you think that I'm perfect the way I am. I've come to love my face because you love it so much, so I won't do anything to change it. Don't worry. Oh, but I will use makeup once in a while. Rico, you really are perfect. I'm so lucky that I married you. I'm the happiest man alive. Thank you for agreeing to marry me, Rico. You've made me so happy. That's my line. <laughs> then, three years later, we've finally given birth to a healthy baby boy. My parents were so happy to see their first grandchild born and even cried when we took him to visit. I'm so happy that I've started a family with the love of my life. As for my sister, she didn't stop at becoming the top hostess of Kabikichu, and even started her own line of makeup. She was doing pretty well for herself until recently, but it seems that her habit of taking occupied men hasn't changed. And she laid hands on a man that was dating a rival hostess of hers, and she ended up in the middle of an internet storm that had erupted between her fans and the fans of the rival hostess. It looks like it'll take a while for things to cool over, and I haven't been in contact with her for over a year. But I have seen her a lot on TV because of the chaos, so I don't really need any updates from my sister herself. But I can't help but be worried. I wonder if Eiko's doing okay. I don't know. She hasn't come back to this house since you both got married. Really? Not once? 
Well, your dad was really upset with her, and she seemed to be enjoying her luxurious lifestyle as a hostess. I can understand that she wouldn't be able to return to a normal life with us. I'm happy as long as she's happy and healthy, but I hope that it isn't taking a toll on her. Being a hostess isn't a permanent thing, and I wonder if she'll be able to think of it as a positive dream when it's all over. I hope she does, but she might even regret it once she realizes that it's not going to continue like that forever. It's up to her and her own effort whether she does or not, but it's clear that she's spending her money and power like water in order to have fun, and that will definitely come back to bite her in the ass. I'm just worried about how she'll deal with it. If Akko ever does try to come back and bother you or Mr. Honda for money, then you can count on me. I'll do my best to protect you both, and I'll make sure that she can't do anything. It might even be a good idea to buy a large house to live in together so we can take care of you when you retire. Shoo, that's a wonderful idea. Uh, really? But we can't ask you to do that. It doesn't have to be now. Why don't you think about it? For the future, when you and Dad can't do things alone. Five years later. I can't take this anymore. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. Mom, Dad, help me, please. Why? Why isn't anyone here? Where's the house? Dad? Mom, where are you? I haven't seen any articles about Aiko recently. Do you think she's okay? She's a grown adult. She can deal with her own problems by herself. As far as I'm concerned, she's not our daughter anymore. I'm going to make this short and simple, but it seems that my sister stuck her nose in something pretty dangerous at her hostess club, and she was kicked out of the hostess world. We had already sold my parents' house and moved into a bigger house elsewhere to avoid the trouble from coming to us, and it started a new life in a new city. I was moved by Shu's suggestion to live together, and I'm glad to say that I'm living happily ever after with all the people I love under one roof, with my parents, my husband, and our beautiful son.